Hello and welcome to Strum Dynasty Gaming. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different actually. Uh, you're probably thinking, Sean, why are you uploading all these videos in such a short amount of time? I don't have time to watch all of them. Are you insane? And uh, actually the answer is uh, no, I am doing this because I need to uh, test the 60 frames per second thing that I've been doing lately. Now on the last video I did, I did a 44 kilohertz version of the 60 frames per second recording style and I used uh, the game Berserk to do it. And on this one I'm doing Donkey Kong Country 3. I did another video with the original Donkey Kong Country and uh, I did another one with Donkey Kong Country 2. On the Donkey Kong Country 2 one I had uh, a lower audio bit rate and I had it in mono. In this one I'm actually doing it in stereo but I have it on the lower audio bit rate again and the reason is the performance of the game is better when you have the audio basically not as good. I did do a Donkey Kong Country one where I had uh, the full bit rate and that one was uh, okay, but the the frame rate wasn't as buttery smooth on DKC2. The frame rate was buttery smooth, and I'm gonna try to recreate this on this one and see if I can uh, do that. The reason I'm using this one right now is because or this game is because me and Bren have been doing a let's play of this game, and I wanted to do 60 frames per second because if you look at my other videos, sometimes they are a little bit choppy. Uh, the series I did with Josh, the series I'm doing with Bren, they're choppy sometimes, and sometimes that gives people a headache. And so I just wanted to go ahead and use this one to test and see if I can get this in stereo, see if I can have my sound and the um, <clears throat> recorded with a computer microphone and isolate the actual game audio to stereo in a direct feed. And if none of that made sense, I am very, very sorry, um, but it's just a bunch of techno babble. That means I'm going to try to get the games to look a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to go to my single, pl single player file here. And I'm not sure. Oh, oh, I don't like the way that sounds. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I haven't really done anything yet. So oh, I don't really need to waste any time here going through the specifics. I just am trying to get the uh, get the level started here. It's already looking a little bit choppier than normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get kitty. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're gonna go right over to uh, Lake Orangutanga as normal. So I think that's what that is. Yes, it is. Audio sounds very, very strange <laughs> with this reduced bit rate, but that's okay. Let's see if we can keep it smooth here. This game, and also I wanted to do this game because this game is notoriously uh, hard um, on the processor. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'm already seeing it here. Yeah, this is. I think this game's gonna be choppy no matter what. I uh, didn't mean to do that. This is the most complicated of the DKC games, and yeah, this. No wonder this has been choppy. Like, this is. I'm wondering if I set the audio. I'm gonna do something I haven't done before here and actually alter the gameplay as I'm playing it, which I don't usually do. Let's go ahead and turn off the stereo sound and see if that does anything for the bit rate there. Or for the frame rate, rather. Okay. That improve it at all. I'm not sure. If it did, I guess I'll stick with that. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, in this game, I don't like that door stop dash is the second level because it's not a momentum based level. It's like it's like a puzzler in the middle of the game. I think at the beginning they should have had more of those sort of you know momentum based ones. That was really stupid. Anyway. The mice don't even sound like mice anymore, because I reduced the, the audio bit rate. What am I doing not hitting any of the little door, uh, door pulley thingies here? And of course, the mice sound exactly like the door, which is bad. Is there a bee up here? There is not a bee. There is! There are bees! And the music is very loud. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I can already see that this is like 
even without looking at the video, even without checking the actual video file, this is very jittery. But it's not as jittery as it was. I think a lot of that's because I reduced the uh, sample rate, or the uh, playback rate as it's called on here. I, re I reduced that back to 11 kilohertz, and I took away the stereo sound. Which, I hit those stupid bees a second time. Okay. Uh, if you're wondering, this is very difficult for me to see right now, because one of the ways that I make sure that I can keep the bitrate good, or the frame rate good, is to not plug it into a monitor. Because the, then the game just has to, you know, render it on something else, which is my television. It's doing video output instead of just running it on the native screen. And the reason, like I said, the reason I did not label this a Let's Play is just because this is merely just a test to see how this is going to look on YouTube. And unfortunately, this game seems to be one of the games that it's hard for the computer to keep up with, even if you have it on a reduced bitrate. Okay, that was not what I wanted to happen. Where is that stupid door? Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, I have to go this way. It's not like I've been playing this game for 20 years or something, and I should have obviously known that. Uh, well, missed another door. That's okay, that's what those trap doors are there for. Hello, Mr. B. Or Mrs. B, should not assume. There's probably some way I could figure out which gender of B it was, but I don't know. Oh! Okay, that was close. I thought for sure I was gonna fall right onto that B. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm not supposed to be singing. That's right. I'm sorry. That's another thing to remember. When I'm wearing headphones, um, the audio doesn't sync up, actually. The audio uh, syncing is different. I think maybe my voice is like af would would be um, processed after the, the music actually sounds. So singing with the music would not be a good idea because it would just it would be off. Which is something that does not happen obviously when you're just using your microphone to record both your voice and the music. This is. Uh, I got, I don't usually do these type of technical vi- okay, thanks, Super Nintendo Ram. Um, I don't usually do these types of technical videos on my channel. Well, I think maybe that wasn't the Ram's fault, I think that was my fault for not throwing it where it was supposed to go. And why am I even doing this? I obviously don't need this coin. Okay. Gotta love that 3D water effect. Rare did an amazing job on this game. I just wish the levels were a little more consistent in this game. But, you know, I really do like this game. That's why I wanted to do it on my channel. I, I really do like it. It's got a lot of creative stuff. But, unfortunately, the game doesn't really seem to get going until you're already kind of into it. I would say the game really starts to pick up in quality around... Um, after Mechanos and not K3, the other one, uh, something Cove, Cotton Top Cove or something. After you get past those two and you get to K3, then I think the game really starts to go up in quality. But, uh, you know, that's how many worlds is that? Like four worlds that you have to beat to get to that point, so yeah. But after that, the game's got some really cool stuff in it. I mean, and there's cool stuff, you know, sprinkled into those worlds, too. You know, I think, uh, uh, Croctopus sh uh, Shoot. Or, wait. <laughs> no, I got that confused with Croctopus Chase from the first game. Um, Crack Shot Croc is what it's called. That's a good level. Um, Limguin Lounge, great level. Um,. Crevice Creeper is great level. But this level, this game's also got some stinkers in it. Either it's got some stinkers or some levels that are really, really difficult. Um, Eric's Ambush is 
wait, no, that's not it. Eric's Ambush is a good level. What's that one that I really, really hate? Bleak's, Bleak's House? I really hate that, the one where you gotta throw the snowballs? Oh my gosh, I hate that one. No, wait, let's just take a minute to listen to this music for a second. That sounds really not like it's supposed to, because I have it set to 11 kilohertz. This is a very slippery level, which I kind of like. It means it's pretty easy to build up your momentum. That was close. Oh, I did not even mention this yet. Um, this emulator that I'm using has very little input lag. That's another major issue with my Let's Plays, is that me and whoever I'm playing with play worse than we would have we would usually because the input lag is just insane on that other emulator that we use, especially when it's plugged into a monitor or plugged into a television through HDMI. When, you know, it, it's having to do the emulation and it's also having to put it out on the uh, HDMI, which is really, really slowing it down. That was my fault, and I don't even think I got a checkpoint. Um, it's really slowing it down, but th with this emulator, it's, it's almost instant. It's not quite as good as having a CRT television in an actual Super Nintendo, but it's still really good. You know, it's it's probably as good as, um, at least as the Virtual Console, which I think the Virtual Console's uh, input lag is not that bad. It's bad. I mean, if you're used to the regular game. I mean, just for an example on the Virtual Console, I didn't mean to go in that bonus room. So, which means I'm not going to... Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll try. People have said this song... Oh, I heard at least one channel say this song. kind of sounds like the Super Mario Odyssey song. Um, for the Virtual Console, um, on Donkey Kong Country, the first one, in the battle with K. Roll, the first time I played that, I was doing it on an HDMI... Or, um, not HDMI. I was doing it with component cables on a... LCD TV with Nintendo Wii plugged in, and avoiding those cannonballs was a chore. It was very, very difficult, but when I played it on my CRT television, um, and just, you know, played it like normal, it was really, really easy, and I think it's because sometimes you need there to be almost no frames of delay. The game is designed that way. You know, when the creators made these games, they made them to be designed in such a way, or they designed them to be played in such a way where it would feel very natural. You know, when you push a button, um, the response time will feel very, very good. And when you start messing with that with emulation, uh, it really throws off the entire uh, design of the game. So as close to no delay as possible is what you want to aim for. And if I complete this and it looks really, really good, um, I'm gonna go ahead and play it again. Or, uh, I might, I might use this emulator, rather. And you know what? I was, I said that because I had this in my mind. I'm gonna go back to that first level and play it again, actually. Because I, I played through that whole first level with the stereo sound on, and so... Yeah. I need my buddy barrel. Really glad I didn't get killed by the. Oh my gosh, this monitor is so hard to see. But it, it, it I don't know. It's a trade-off because on the one hand, um, if you're using this monitor, you're not going to have any and you're not going to have any, uh, not nearly as much lag. But you know, it's going to be it's going to be smooth. But you're not going to be able to see what you're doing in this game, which is. Well, at least I can't. I'm sure a lot of other people I would play with could, but I couldn't. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was going to miss that. Okay. All right. Well, we beat that level. Um, I don't really think I need to play through Door Stop Dash again, because... Uh, 
what's this level again? Oh, this level. I mean, like, just talk about levels that I never want to play. Like, just I, 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 like, if I never had to play this level again, I would, I would be okay with that. Shout out to all those bananas I just got. That was pretty impressive. Okay, um, I didn't get all of them, but I got a lot of them. <sighs> level is so annoying. I have to backtrack all the time. I know there's a skip in this level somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. Oh, did I just lose a life? I hope not. Oh, no, I still got both of my... Both of my things there. Oh, I'm, let me try to sing again. Okay, where's the, where's the dude? Is he up there? I am hearing him. I am not seeing him. Oh, there he is. Okay. This will look much, much better. Am I gonna be able to... Oh, I'm not. I'm gonna have to get the thing here. Good trick if you can't see where the thing is. Just jump between those things and eventually you will get one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I need a barrel, please. And I don't see where they are. I'm sure. Okay, I'm sure I didn't have to go all that way. I'm sure I missed something. If they did want me to go all that way, that would be really, uh, really unkind for them to do that. Okay. This isn't so bad. Because it's it's not it's not bad. It's just tedious. And you know, if if the whole game were like this, it would be fine. It's just the inconsistency. You know, sometimes you get really really fast sharp platformers, um, especially the on the rails levels. Like, did I not hold it? Oh, I must have knocked it off on the B. Um, especially like. Uh, I'm standing in the wrong archway. Demolition drain pipe. That is a crazy fast level. Um, and then to have you know levels like this sprinkled in is kind of irritating. Okay, got him. Uh oh. There we go. I thought I was gonna hit that. Okay, don't hit. Don't hit the B. <laughs> ah, sorry, I'm singing again. It's really hard not to sing. This music is pretty groovy. Evelyn Novakovic did the music for this game. And at the time, Evelyn Novakovic was called Evelyn Fisher. It was the last name change. Uh, uh, there it is. And in the previous games, it was David Wise. Uh, the joke is always, they call him David Wise for a reason. David Wise made some very, very good music in the first two Donkey Kong Country games. In this one, he, ma he mainly did the non-level non music. So, you know, like the, the bonus room music. That kind of stuff I think he did. But this song was composed by Evelyn Novakovic in a good way to... Spot out her music. Whoa, that scared me. I did not know that was there. Oof! Good way to spot her music in these games is that sh her music is very, um, bassy. I think so. Oh. This is the part, isn't it? This is the part that took me and Bren forever. And I don't even have safe states this time, because I haven't set them up on the simulator. And I don't even know if we can. I'm sure we can, but I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can assign them to a hotkey, like I could before. Okay. Come on, B. Yes, thank you. 
Okay, that's one more. And I've still got uh, two uh, two players. Well, not two players, but two uh, two hits. Okay, well this is annoying because now this is gonna take my barrel away. Take my barrel away. Did I get rolled. I got both of them. Okay. See, it's just ah, backtracking. Oh, hello. The sound that my hooves are making uh, is almost like some sort of a... Uh, it sounds like Atari. It sounds like an Atari sound effect. I think there are two mice here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, are you kidding me? Whoever designed this level, do better. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just come on, guys. Like, who 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 is this fun for? This is like one of those. This is almost <laughs> reminds me of one of those Pokemon um, gym or uh, cave things where you have to have like those cave puzzles that you have to solve. Yeah, it's just like, who is this for? Who's sitting here like, man, you know what's really fun about Pokemon Gold? Those stupid cave things. <laughs> With the bike. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, now that's over. We're gonna go down to uh, Belch's Barn. And I think I'm only gonna play the levels that I played on the other Let's Plays. The, f the first two uh, episodes just because I want to kind of get a visual on what they look like well I didn't jump on it a second time and I forgot bye Belcha take that 